Hello everyone. Here we have with us Dr. Soham Banerjee. He is AIMS topper. He is he has scored uh, rank seven in AIMS May this year. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Soham. Thank you so much, sir. So, what's your feeling right now? I am feeling obviously uh, great after the result. I didn't really expect a single digit rank, obviously, and so it has kind of left me speechless. Yeah, that's uh, that's a dream for many, and you have like this is reality for you, right? Yeah. So you must be feeling great. So tell us about your journey, how you prepared, and. Uh, so uh, Hari Krishna, I uh, I have to express my sincerest gratitude to the almi uh, the omnipotent Lord. Uh, he has always been with me, uh, and uh, he has always guided me through tough times mm -hmm. and uh, there have been many tough times in the preparation mm -hmm. where I have felt uh, down depressed and often times uh, hopeless also mm -hmm. but uh, uh, see the PG preparation and the aftermath of that is really stressful mm -hmm. uh, in a student's event mm -hmm. a student's life mm -hmm. so I'd like to say that uh, you need a source of support Mm -hmm. and uh, peace from inside and uh, so I used to uh, chant the Hare Krishna mantra regularly mm -hmm. and uh, used to go to temple occasionally mm -hmm. and I will seriously urge mm -hmm. uh, all of you to read uh, mm -hmm. Bhagavad Gita mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's it might be the most important book you will ever read in your life so basically uh, apart from that I'll also yes. uh, like to thank my parents mm -hmm. uh, there and my elder brother Mm -hmm. and also my friends uh, they have they have given me support uh, through the uh, times which where, uh, where i needed the, it the most okay so basically you are telling that uh, in the in your low phases when you felt uh, uh, depressed or some yeah. low in life then uh, that your religious beliefs and your prayers have on like those uh, were answered yeah. right i'll uh, i'll mostly uh, say ki it's mo uh, more of a spiritualism rather than religious beliefs mm -hmm. and uh, in mm -hmm. times of crisis and apart from that also mm -hmm. uh, you need peace from inside so that you can uh, be mm -hmm. un uh, yeah you can be uh, you can be steady and uh, calm in the t uh, tough times uh, yes. so that you can su uh, achieve success okay <coughs> So, what was your strategy? Like, when did you join DAMS and uh, when did you actually started preparing for the PG? Uh, so, I am from uh, Ames, uh, New Delhi as mm -hmm. an UG. Okay. And uh, I joined uh, DAMS in uh, 2016 uh, right. in the foundation batch. Okay. And I attended all the classes, uh, all the weekly classes mm -hmm. and uh, made notes also, which, mm -hmm. uh, which happened to be really useful at the times of preparation. Mm -hmm. S and... Uh, I also attended uh, some of the pre-foundation uh, course classes uh, in 2017 that is in my final year mm -hmm. and uh, after that in internship uh, mostly the preparation began okay. so I did my internship uh, in last year mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so then I started uh, preparing seriously mm -hmm. for the papers uh, mm -hmm. that is AMS, PGI and NEET also mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, I attended uh, some classes of DAMS TND and also DVT during the internship mm -hmm. which uh, which happened to be really useful mm -hmm. specifically for two reasons one uh, the TND gives you a schedule mm -hmm. uh, by which you can actually uh, study mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to make your own schedule mm -hmm. uh, the TND gives you uh, gives gives it to you and then mm -hmm. uh, you can read weekly on weekly basis yes. one subject after another uh, second reason is that uh, TND focuses on the most important topics mm -hmm. uh, that comes in the exams repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in TND, when you make notes, mm -hmm. those are the those are the cream notes you will ever read. And uh, if you revise those notes mm -hmm. at least twice, thrice mm -hmm. before the paper, mm -hmm. uh, you are bound to get uh, bound to get some re uh, most many repeats from that mm -hmm. those topics. Mm -hmm. So TND is very important, mm -hmm. in, uh, and uh, apart from that, the DVT is like a icing on the cake okay. because uh, DVT may uh, there are many images, mm -hmm. and uh, if you know a subject's images, mm -hmm. 
मतलब देर इज अंग दैट वन इमेज से थाउजेंड वर्ड सो इमेज इज बेसिकली कंसाइज कंसाइज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इट सेल्फ सो इफ यू कैन uh understand the images yes. that means you have read the subject well yes. so it's uh basically a self assessment tool yeah so basically your story started with the foundation course and then uh, it was added by like regular and tnd yes. so you could summarize all the notes and uh, like uh, in the tnd you got the filtered material you got the schedule so you stick to the straight schedule and you started following and how about your concentration in the class like you were fully attentive in the class and making your notes that has helped you uh to be honest uh, it's like the concentration in a long class it's obviously difficult to maintain concentration mm-hmm. but uh, uh on a serious note i'll say ki uh, rema- uh remaining attentive in a class is very important so that you make notes uh, mm-hmm. correctly mm-hmm. and you don't have to ask to others for making notes because everybody whatever the class is they uh, there is there are individual techniques for mm-hmm. making notes mm-hmm. every individual is different mm-hmm. and uh, they will make their notes differently mm-hmm. so it's better that you complete your notes mm-hmm. in the class itself mm-hmm. uh, you try to be present during the class mm-hmm. and uh, uh, yeah that's it so basically <laughs> what you are saying uh, uh, that attending classes and making self notes is yeah. way better than reading notes written by others yeah that's what i'm saying yes. uh, but yeah sometimes you will get uh, so sometimes you might have to uh, read others notes but that's not the optimal condition yes you should so uh, most try to most efficient way is to attend the classes and write notes yourself and that cannot be compared right yeah yeah and uh, along with that uh, the glass test and gt and subject wise test series how did they help like in your preparation um so i used to uh, like uh, i am more of a whimsical student actually mm. so uh, mm. uh to be honest i didn't attend most of the uh, class uh, most of the grand tests mm-hmm. but yeah class tests are really helpful because uh, they give you a constant graph of your preparation uh, if you assess your class test results mm-hmm. uh, that means uh, you can you have a scope for improvement yes. because nobody is perfect mm-hmm. and uh, even if you read the subject you will understand uh, after giving the class test that mm-hmm. these these topics are left in mm-hmm. my preparation mm-hmm. or maybe uh, you have left a topic uh, mistakenly that uh, that is not important you think but then uh, in the class test there is a question from that so you will understand that is also an important topic yes so class test yeah they are important mm-hmm. Uh, uh but yeah grand tests i didn't attend many but yeah th- they are obviously helpful because uh giving time bound full tests they simulate the real exam environment Be- uh, yeah. because you will obviously have to give 3 hour paper and uh, there is a well enough chance that after one or one and a half hour you will get uh your concentration will waver and uh, you will actually mistake some mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. because just because of lack of concentration okay so uh, tell me one thing that uh, before me uh, aims exams or aims declared about the new pattern questions so what was your reaction um uh, the reaction yeah it doesn't really matter because aims aims is notorious for uh, doing this aims uh, generate uh, does change its yeah. pattern every one or two years and let me ask you like uh, did you write this uh, uh, the cbt before aims where we prepared the new pattern aims question so did they um, really help uh, sir actually i didn't write it okay but uh, yeah m- uh, i think uh, uh, giving a mock test uh, with the new pattern papers uh, obviously would help I didn't actually have time to do it because uh last last November also I got a decent rank and I joined ophthalmology names okay. and I was pursuing PG there and being a first year resident uh, most of you will know that it's very hectic all right uh, so mm-hmm. I didn't actually have time to do much okay. but yeah uh, I obviously feel that would have helped me even more okay <laughs> and uh, now now that you have already cleared the exam what's your message to the juniors who are preparing so they will be looking up to you my uh, most important message uh, will be that uh, do it uh, fo- from a preparation point of view i'll say uh, do the past year papers at least uh, four or five year papers of the central institutes a- as well as neat 
because those papers hold the key to your success uh, they are they outline the topics that are most repeated mm -hmm. uh, last november paper this was a grave grave mistake i did i i didn't do the last year papers mm -hmm. uh, properly and uh, i suffered because of that this time i did the past year papers and uh, so i think that because of that my rank is rank has improved okay. and apart from that uh, obviously uh, revise your notes mm -hmm. uh, as many times as you can and uh, uh, give time bound tests specifically about the new pattern i like to uh, say that uh, this time there were 50 new pattern questions mm -hmm. and because all of those new patterns uh, have four or five options which you have to separately consider so it obviously would have taken uh, more than one minute time per question mm -hmm. so uh, i'll say the single best choice questions uh, have to be done within two hours and those 50 uh, new patterns uh, for that you have to take at least one hour mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like we say in aims that uh, you have to attempt as many as you can but with the new pattern i felt that at least the new pattern questions uh, should be safely attempted mm -hmm. because uh, the negative marking is very strong there mm -hmm. about the single best choice i will still say that you should attempt as much as possible mm -hmm. uh, obviously if you don't know a question at all then obviously you should leave it mm -hmm. but uh, you should still try to attempt as many as possible and uh, this is about the preparation and uh, 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 apart from the preparation there is obviously another aspect that you those three hours those three hours are everything you get mm -hmm. and before that what you prepared does not matter during that three hours after that wha whatever you do does not matter so those three hours try to be present try to be conscious mm -hmm. try to attempt each question separately uh, while attempt attempting a question don't think about the last question don't think about the uh, the question that is going to come mm -hmm. uh, while attempting a question that question is choices you have to be conscious about it so that you don't make silly mistakes yes so like uh, like decreasing the silly mistakes is really going to be boon for yeah. your preparation right and uh, like regarding uh, e-medicos app we have mm. like eq series mm. every week uh, mm. we are putting the videos mm. so how did that help uh, uh, i uh, before this year's paper uh, this may paper uh, there was uh, the course uh, this course uh, launched by dams the dams pg capsule course yes so uh, in that uh, there were uh, they were really concise uh, notes in the video format yes and uh, i actually enjoyed that course uh, mm -hmm. i did uh, some subjects from that mm -hmm. uh, because of the lack of time mm -hmm. and it really i think it really helped uh, specific specifically gyne ops and uh, physio uh, biochem uh, and some other subjects and uh, also i'd say uh, emedicos app if you are active on social media uh, social media platform i personally am not much mm -hmm. but if you are active then uh, it's better to uh, spend time on more useful things mm -hmm. so i'd say uh, that emedicos app also helps in that all right now uh, like any particular teacher that you want to remember on this day obviously uh, sumer sir's uh, radio notes mm -hmm. specifically i'll say the dvt radio notes were mm -hmm. really good they mm -hmm. were really concise and mm. uh, deepthi ma'am's uh, obs gyne notes they are life savers like if you do those notes two three times or even more according to your capacity mm -hmm. uh, i don't think there is need of any other book in mm. obs gyne mm -hmm. um, apart from that uh, uh, the surgery notes notes are good mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the in pre clinical subjects uh, the bi biochem physio and art all the notes are good mm -hmm. and uh, uh, about the uh, in uh, in ortho tushar sir mm. is really uh, mm. tushar sir used to uh, uh, teach really good at that like i understood ortho from him only mm. and uh, uh, yeah uh, deepak sir's ent notes uh, mm. they are also the a substitute for any book mm -hmm. like you don't need to uh, read any other book mm. so obviously the teachers have helped uh, uh, uh teachers have helped uh, mm -hmm. really uh, in a, in a really nice way mm -hmm. and uh, the notes that that they have made uh, that that is the core uh, preparation of any student okay 
so now if if i summarize your message you uh, your message to your students uh, to your juniors is to like to start early to start early the preparation and uh, attend the classes uh, attentively and make the notes mm -hmm. and add important points into notes as well right yeah uh, i'll also uh, like to say that uh, like uh, me being from aims uh, the aims curriculum itself also helps mm -hmm. like uh, the the lectures and the seminars in aims mm -hmm. if someone attends them cons uh, in an attentive way the, uh, they are really good for uh, developing clinical acumen yes. which uh, gives you the basic concepts to crack any question mm -hmm. and uh, obviously as sir said uh, that you should start early mm -hmm. uh, that uh, uh, for me that means that uh, in the entire mbbs course you should be uh, gathering in information like charcoal gathers water uh, it's not like you have to prepare uh, you are preparing for any paper or anything mm -hmm. it's uh, basically your life only so mm -hmm. why shouldn't you acquire information as yes. as you go yes <laughs> okay thank you so much for being with us congratulations once again thank you so much sir okay